Hi everyone, here's the first of a few videos focusing on your Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. So this one's going to show you exactly how it is that you can sign in. So if you just start off by going to Google and just type in Adobe Creative Cloud, it'll bring you to this page. Then when you click on sign in, you put in your university short email address. Okay, so just your code number with the GRE. And when you click to continue, this is where the new changes have happened on the 20th of November 2019. So instead of going into a personal account, you click for company or school account. OK, then it takes you in. Now, if you fiddle around with it, you'll be able to add this to your desktop. So I've already got mine. It's right at the top of my page. When I click on it, I've got it just installed there. So if I sign in again, OK, and then you'll see the view that once you've signed in, um, this is how it's going to look for you. So it's easier because you could be using this regularly, um, download it and then install it and put it onto your toolbar or on your start menu. So when you press the Windows key to open up, you'll get it on one of the keys there. So once you're into Creative Cloud, you've got so many free Adobe products that you can be using. Loads and loads and loads of them. Look, so some of them you actually download to your PC or um, whatever you're using. OK, you can download those programs. But what we're going to be using today is Adobe Spark. So you just click on the one that says Web. And when you go on there, you will see Adobe Spark is there. Right, I'll finish this video now just so I can go in and do a specific one on Spark. OK, cheers. Bye.